So Sam Underhill returns for England. I wonder, could you give us your thoughts on his make, him making his test return? Oh, they're pretty blessed with, with sevens, aren't they, the English? I mean, you have Tom Curry last week and then you bring out Sam this week. Um, you know, they've had um, great test matches over the years, um, you know, and they're making each other better all the time. So, uh, you know, expecting uh, no drop off in that area for sure. Michael, what is it about this place that you guys like playing at? It's got a tremendous record here. Oh, I mean, it's uh, a cracking stadium. Um, our fans are amazing here, um, loud, vocal. Um, so you can feel the energy when you when you run out here to play. And um, yeah, it's good substance even when there's no one in the crowd. You know, turning it, rolling out here today. Um, yeah, it's a good place, good place for us. Um, so you know, we'll thoroughly enjoy it tomorrow night. Building after that first test, is that sort of trying to win that collision battle from from the first kickoff a real focus point for this weekend? Yeah, we've um, we're okay. Uh, like any test match, we want to improve that. Now with um, you know we we said last week after the game, um, the expectation for us is we need to get better, we want to get better. Um, we know we know the English are gonna gonna be a lot better in that area, so we're looking to better that tomorrow um, to come out on top. Um, Dave was talking about tackle dominance and how that showed up in the second half last week was the transfer that to the start of the game. How do you actually do that? How do you make sure the guys are switched on? Uh, in terms of actions, uh, where we're looking to tackle, um, the intensity that you tackle, um, and you know, starting with our defensive line, the integrity of that. So, you know, really simply, you have a good integrity in your line, allows you to be clear on, on who you're making the tackle, and then it's just about an intent thing and, and going and executing that. So, um, we'll be doing that. Has there been any mention of uh, not getting sucked into any of the bigger logs? Um, Darcy sort of what broke into it last week and, and bit back. I mean, you don't want to take a backward step, but just not getting sucked into that sort of stuff. No, that's right. I mean, uh, we've got to focus on what we can control. Um, you know what we need to do on the field. So we got plenty of uh, plenty of roles to do on the field in in transitions and everything like that. So we can't be getting sucked into that. Look, it's part of the game, and um, you know, smarts around how you you come out on top of that's important. Um, but you know, it's always a factor, and and dealing with them the right ways, uh, you know, um, going to be a challenge. But good one. What does uh, Tony Ellis return mean for you, your team, how you play? Oh, we're very excited. Uh, we know what he can deliver um, as a player um, in terms of personality is great. Um, really excited to be back and back and playing rugby and lacing up this week. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's obviously a vibrant personality. So that brings in an instant energy. And then on the field, um, you know, can do some really great things um, and has done at this stadium before as well. So, uh, look, he's, he's had a bit of a layoff, um, but he's ready to go. Um, he was talking about how he, it's a blessing that he had that time off. Um, you had a bit of a sabbatical as well. What can it do for you to, you know, get out of, uh, I guess, the intensity for a while? Yeah, uh, look, he, I mean, he's he's been able to fix his body. He's had a few big things happen to him in a in a personal aspect, and rugby is so amazing. But um, you know, you're moving so week to week all the time. So for him to be able to, you know, reset and have a look and go, you know, he's had a kid in this time, um, you know, which is which is amazing for him and us as a Wallaby team as well. So exciting for for their family. Um, you know, so he's, he's been able to really appreciate that stuff and now sort of switch his focus back to and get, get on with footy. Have you seen a change in personality and uh, rise in maturity since he's become a dad? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I, I hope he, don't lo he loses that child in him, you know, because um, he's so great. Like I said, the energy he brings is is fantastic. Um, I don't know what I expected. I saw actually Nella this morning, uh, his son, and uh, I thought it would just be as big as Nella already, but uh, he's actually small and a, and a little cutie. So um, no, it's great for, for him and, and the family. Yeah, he's such an enigma, Michael. I mean, the fact he's had two months off and he's coming back from the car, someone his size as well, you probably don't expect too much, but then with him, you can expect anything, can't you? Yeah, I, I don't know how he, uh, his calf would get injured in the first place, hey? Like, they're, that, <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty sizable, those things, so. Um, look, he's he's been um, really intent on getting back. Um, we've had a great, uh, you know, staff effort that have put a lot of work into getting fit and um, you know staying hungry uh, to get on the park. So, look, I mean, um, yeah, he can be damaging at the scrum, he can be damaging around the park. Um, but playing his role, you know, not getting sucked into things like we mentioned earlier, that's going to be really important. Um, and how we work with him around and 
um, you know, it's going to it's tough coming off you know a, a fair layoff like that as well. So, you know, managing him in the right way is important. Michael, um, you were around when Jordan Patay made his debut as a teenager at the World Cup. What have you seen in him in terms of his development to this point, and where he can go from here now that his body seems to have caught up to his ability? Yeah, that, I mean that's been the big one, hasn't it? You know, getting his body right so he can put um, back-to-back performances together. So. Uh, I mean, physically, he's he's outstanding. When he's when he's on fire, you know, he, he's got the height and the jump. Um, he's quite a rangy mover, which makes him really difficult to tackle. He's got a turn of pace, um, you know, and then he's got all the tricks in the in the toolkit as well. So uh, he's he's a complete package. Um, just staying on the park, and um, some of the best things you can do as a rugby player is just get just get time under the belt on the paddock, um, you know. And he's starting to do that. So with that, he's going to go from strength to strength. And how do you control that there's been a lot of changes from a winning test team to a second test, which is quite unusual. How does the gelling uh, come with the, the guys that have come in? How have you felt it come together? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we had that little block um, two or three weeks beforehand, and you know that we changed a lot of, lot of teams. It wasn't like we came in day one and there was a starting team. Um, there was a lot of rotations in that time, so the combinations that we've had, um, you know, changing throughout, have actually shown up at our training a fair bit. So that's that's been really comforting for us, and also the players are bringing in a of top quality as well. So um, you know, uh, you, you, it's actually a struggle to pick who would come in and replace because there's uh, there's a lot of talent there ready to be used. So um, yeah, it's it's different, but it's not a not a negative. Michael England are making a big play about coming after you guys up front. What do you expect from them in that area? Do you think they're going to be pretty fired up to make an impact in that area? Uh, we expect every test match to bring a level of intensity around um, set piece um, and, and the forwards battle. I mean, so much of that allows your backs to attack well, defend better, um, you know, and get e- easy exits um, out of your own zone or into the opposition zone. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're the same. We, we, we need to be really on with our set piece and in around that physicality battle. So I guess it's just... Yeah, we're both doing, trying to do the same thing. With Taniella talking the other day, there's a bit of well-natured sort of trash talking with him in Palace games. Does he get fired up by that sort of stuff? Those sort of personal battles on the field, do you think? Uh, it's probably a good matchup, isn't it? Without in terms of rugby, like you know, you don't get a lot of head-to-head. Um, you know, I guess you know, I don't see, I won't see Sam a huge amount of times or as many times as say the front rowers will. Um, so it is a really unique matchup in terms of um, front rowers actually coming up against each other. So, I mean, for me, being on the side of it, it's going to be exciting to see. I think, you know, both quality players and, and how they work uh, against each other is going to be interesting. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. What would it mean to close out the series tomorrow, given the eight, eight, eight games in a row you've lost against England? What, how much how special would that be? Oh, it would be pleasing for us as a group. You know, we've talked about where we want to go. Um, and within that is, you know, um, starting to win games consistently. So in terms of, you know, what we talk about wanting to do, it would be a step towards that, which would be really pleasing for us you know, intrinsically. So, um, yeah, I think, I think, you know, that's something that we can talk about at a later date. We're, we're really focused on coming out here today, putting the final details on and, um, yeah, rolling up tomorrow night with the best possible conditions to win. Can you just give us a sense of what it did for the confidence Ending that run you'd have against them. You were talking about it last week about changing the ledger, and you have done that. So, what's is it just sort of surge of belief in the, in the sport? It's confirmation that we're on the right track. It's confirmation that some of the um, things we're putting in place are working. Um, you know, there's a, there was a few things that didn't didn't go to plan last week that we had to work our our um, way out of, uh, and we managed to do that. So, we're doing some really good things. Um, we saw last week as a as plenty of examples to get better. So that's been a lot of the focus this week, you know, um, how we can get better, um, we're going to need to get better, want to get better as well, um, you know, as I mentioned about talking about where we want to go. Michael, um, last couple of these scores. Noah Lolisio seems to fit in that number 10 jersey. How impressed were you last weekend and now that he knows he's, he's starting um, this week, what do you expect from him? Um, what do I expect from Noah? Look, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's been he was great last week. Hey, under under those circumstances, I mean, yeah, in a number ten jersey, um, I don't know when that's been served up before in a in a you know first test match of a series. Um, 
first test match for a team in a in a you know quite a bit of time as well. So, um, you know, I, I've no expectations for for Noah. I mean, he's got high expectations for himself, um, and he wants to live up to those. And and that's what's exciting. You know, he's very self-driven. Um, so you know, he's one of those players that you you know you let go and and do your thing. So um, excited for him to grow on his game um, tomorrow and see where he can take it. I don't know. I no. Know yeah. Do you go out on the field and give him a little reminder that he's wearing the wrong shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got time to worry about that stuff, hey. Um, no, no, not at all. I, I think, uh, you know, I think Jake probably would have played with him at Sydney Uni. Um, maybe Matty Phillip, a couple of Sydney Uni boys there, but uh, no, no, I won't have time for that. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Where, where does this rivalry sit? Australia England. Oh, it's up there, isn't it? You know, it's a good one. Um, I love the Ashes series that came out. It's always a big occasion on the, you know, on the cricketing pitch. Uh, really enjoy that match up all the time, you know, and we get a slice of that when we, when we play these test matches. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's way up there.